my name is Sister Vivian Stanford. I'm coming to you from Agape Christian Worship Center with another devotional. And the subject is going to be on in good standing, being on one accord. And I'm going to be reading a few scriptures to you as well. But before I get into the scriptures, I want to talk to you about the giant redwood trees. They're located up in Northern California. So I want to tell you a little things about them, you know, some of which these trees, they tower about 350 feet into the air and they are more than 2,500 years old. And they have enormous root system extending hundreds of feet into the ground underneath. But actually, the roots of the redwood are extremely shallow, no deeper than six to 10 feet. So one might ask themselves, how does these massive trees stand a chance of staying upright for even 10 seconds, much less thousands of years, right? So the secret is not in the depth of the roots, but their interconnected nature. Since the trees grow close together, their root system become entwined with each other providing mutual nourishment, protection, and support. Isn't that great? So now let's get into the scriptures that I mentioned earlier. And we're going to start off with Hebrew 10 and 24. And I'm going to be reading from the New International Version as well as the New Living Translation. Again, that's Hebrew 10 and 24. And it reads, and let us consider how we may spur one another on towards love and good deeds. And 24 in the New Living Translation says, Let us think of ways to motivate one another to acts of love and good works. Now, if you will, please turn with me to Philippians 1 and 27. And again, this is the NIV version, the New International Version. And it reads, Whatever happens, conduct yourselves in a man manner worthy of the gospel of Christ. Then, whether I come to see you or only hear about you in my absence, I will know that you stand firm in the one spirit, striving together as one for the faith of the gospel. And the New Living Translation says, Above all, you must live as citizen of heaven, conducting yourselves in a man manner worthy of the good news about Christ. Then, whether I come and see you again or only hear about you, I will know that you are standing together with one spirit and one purpose, fighting together for the faith which is the good news. And now we're going to go to Romans 12 and 16. Again, this is the NIV version. Verse 16 says, Live in the harmony with one another. Do not be proud, be, but be willing to associate with people of low positions. Do not be conceited. And the New Living Translation says, Live in harmony with each other. Don't be too proud to enjoy the company of ordinary people and don't think you know it all. So God's design is that we actively involve in sharing and giving and serving and learning together. So we ask ourselves, do we experience this kind of interconnectedness in our relationship with other believers? If not, we are missing something we need and others are missing something we can give. So with that, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we know that you are with us. The scriptures remind us the more we seek you, the more we will find you. Lead our surrendered hearts to the path of your peace today, Lord. Holy Spirit, translate our desires and pleading, and may we understand the faithful response of our great Father, Heavenly Father, let us release the bend of blame in exchange for accord, Lord, to be on one accord. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. And God bless you.